everybody. This is Sam with Troops Mowing. Uh, today, my brother-in-law and I, we completed a retaining wall edging, for lack of better words, along a flower bed and two trees. And along with this footage, I wanted to do a voiceover to briefly provide some context on the importance of implementing revenue drivers into your lawn care company. If you are unfamiliar on what a revenue driver is, the way I look at it is it is basically your secondary services. So for us, our primary service is reoccurring lawn mowing services, right? You're mowing, weed eating, edging, blowing. Um, our secondary services, AKA your revenue drivers, uh, for us, it is these retaining wall edging, which you're watching right now, the flower bed cleanup jobs, and then spring, summer, and fall fertilizer applications. The reason why we rely heavily on these revenue drivers, especially throughout the slower growth seasons for grass, is because our primary service is just, the, the demand is not necessarily there. However, we do have the conditions here in Texas where we can be outside and we can complete some of these landscaping jobs. Uh, so that's why we rely heavily on our revenue drivers throughout the slower seasons. Now this advice is really only applicable to the size of your company. If you were a bigger company, and if we were a bigger company, I would be relying on these revenue drivers throughout the entire season and basically have a project crew alongside of a lawn maintenance crew. Uh, so it's really however, however big your company is, depends on how often and how frequent you can depend on your revenue drivers. Uh, but really, it's, it's, you don't want to have too many services where it confuses both you and the customers but you do want to have a few revenue drivers that you can rely on throughout the slower months or whenever the revenue starts to dry up a little bit. So I really hope this helps. These are the before and after pictures. If you found value, hit subscribe. Thanks, guys.